Hi folks, I'm Tom. We're avid campers and recently we had an occurrence when we got ready to start our refrigerator up. It was not cooling and it was really hot. It's been hot here in central Illinois all summer long. And I did some research and talked with the medic about it. What it needed was a little extra help to cool down this absorption unit. Um, these units, they run off ammonia. And I should mention also that there were a lot of folks that had videos out there that directed us in the right way to, uh, to resolve this. What we ended up doing was, um, I ended up, since I'm an HVAC technician, I went ahead and just purchased our own separate axial fans, um, got them off Amazon, got the correct size, and I decided to mount them on top instead of on the bottom just because this area here is so congested with space and I didn't think I could get a big enough axial fan in there to push the air I wanted to. And so I'll show you what I did with the axial fans. I'm gonna hand off the phone. And right there, there we go. I've got two 140 millimeter axial fans and you can see I went ahead and I cut the screen off of the cover of the doghouse that's on the flue of the refrigerator and I mounted them down a little bit farther. Make sure you're looking at me. And the reason I did that was I wanted to have a little bit of space so that the fans would push the air up. I was afraid if it was too close, they would just have a mushroom effect. So it was kind of an airflow issue. And then the other thing is I wanted to have them below the screens so that we could avoid having any kind of critters that may get in on that fan, like a mud dauber, um, bird's nest, anything like that that would clog it up. So fans were pretty straightforward, wired them up. They only pull 1.6 amps each. Um, where I work at, the electrician, he gave me scrap wire that he had that was dunnaged from a job. So I took my little five foot piece of uh, uh, 12 gauge THHN. So this is plenty big for what I'm doing here. Um, we've got our lugs here as far as positive, negative. You can tell which one's the negative because it comes right over here to a grounding post. And I ran power. I ran it through a switch first. I've added this switch because we wanted to have control of running this fan. If it's cooler outside, like 50, 60 degrees, we're not gonna need these axial fans. And also, when these fans run, it sounds like a drone taking off. Um, I'm gonna turn it on and see if we can hear what it sounds like. And it's really moving a lot of air. Then the other thing I did was from the switch, and this was a, this, this is part of the kit you can get from an RV dealer if you want to, I bought a uh, Emerson Thermodisc thermostat here, and it's adjustable. And you can use just a little bit of a, a multi-use screwdriver. I was able to get up there, and I tweaked it back and forth a little bit, and have this switch now so that whenever the, the ammonia heaters come on, the fan comes on, Whenever the thermostat's satisfied and it shuts off, the fan shuts off on its own. So it's not just sitting there running full bore. Um, for us, I know this is gonna work great. It's gonna be 96 degrees today. Um, it was 94 yesterday, and uh, our refrigerator, when I checked it this morning, it was actually 32 degrees, so I had to move the thermistor down a little bit. Um, like I say, a lot, of, a lot of good videos out there. I just wanted to add, um, this is something that if, if a person has some technical skills and wants to do it on their own, either they can buy their own stuff or go to your RV dealership. When I checked with the local dealership in Peoria, Four Winds, it was basically $56 for a kit with a single axial fan that would go right about here. What I ended up doing was buying two axial fans and all the other stuff for $64 on Amazon. And uh, so I hope this is helpful for people that are uh, scratching their heads and wondering, you know, why isn't my Dometic refrigerator or Norcold or whatever the brand may be, why is it not keeping temperature? Thanks a bunch. Happy camping.